yo, it's Dave. What's going on, everybody? Today, we're going to be going over whether you should summon a re zero. Re zero is coming soon to global. So, uh, on JP, it's already been out for a minute. So, I guess we can just go over like the banner, the units, uh, how I feel about the units. Uh, but yeah, let's hop into it. So, first and foremost, let's take a look at the units. Uh, Amelia, I think, honestly, I think Amelia might be the best one on this banner, even though Ram is like she's free to play. Even though I love Ram, y'all know, y'all come to the streams, y'all know I love Ram, but I, Amelia is just like far and away the better unit like on this banner. So let's go over a kid and stuff. Passive when a hero receives attacks from the same enemy twice or more during the enemy's turn, it's funny because it says twice, but they, if they attack more than once, they're gonna be frozen, so it can't happen, or whatever, whatever. Uh, Cleanse all debuffs and remove, wait, cleanse all debuffs from allies and freeze the enemy for two turns. So if they attack her twice with the same like unit, they'll be frozen. Uh, this can be a bit of a nuisance. So you might have to just like one shot her, but people run away, got it silly. So it's like, that's a problem. You can see why that's a problem because you know, revive is a thing. Her first skill, a freeze called Puck Please, inflict damage equal to 360% of attack on one enemy and freezes for two turns. And you already, already know how freeze works. Uh, basically, this card is mega level busted <laughs> just because, like, a level two and three, it does damage and it freezes, right? Cool. But level one is just like beyond stupid level busted because if you put up a shield, her level one can go through that shield and freeze you, like, because it doesn't do damage. It could just, it could just apply a freeze. You get why this is stupid, right? So if you run her. And you fight a goddess Ellie, bro. Don't even trip. <laughs> because if they put up a shield, let's say they got like a level three shield or something, something stupid, something ridiculous. Maybe they they didn't oh and they did like a level three shield or something, bro. It don't matter. A level one freeze is taking care of that. Easy, easy, easy claps. <laughs> I should mention all of them are unknown, so yeah. Her second skill called Alhuma. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Inflict damage equal to 180% of attack on all enemies and depletes two ultimate move gauge at the end of the enemy's turn. So it dissolves basically like Green Gother. That's why she's also fantastic because she has freezes and she has dissolve. Uh, what else? What else could you want? So, and then the most busted part about her well, not even, I wouldn't say that. Nah, I don't know. Both her cards are good. Her passive's good. It's like her ultimate, LV ultimate, basically. Uh, she has secret technique, 60% additional damage per of her cards in her hand, right? So, and then at 6 6, she does 450% of attack. That with all with secret technique, bro, you're one shotting, bro. So, if you can pull dupes of a million, bro, uh, you are a lucky, lucky dog, and I envy you because only ever was six, bro. Uh, this, this that's why she's the best, I think, because you, you, you I don't know, man. if you get dupes on her, bro, you're set. She freezes through shield and she dissolves, bro. She's just nutty, bro. She's just all around good. Uh, Rim, the blue haired sister, uh, savior of the, on the Oni clan. Uh, when a hero uses a skill or move skills to rank up a skill and gain ultimate move gauge or increase attack related stats by 5% for three turns up to five times. So basically, if you do anything with her cards, <laughs> if you use a card to gain old gauge, if you merge it, or if you just like, yeah, just, just basically use it or merge it. She gets buffs uh, until she gets her ultimate. Even Cause I've had her ultimate and I've had like buffs, but I used the ultimate and then I used cards after that and I got buffs again. I think when I had the ultimate, I think I had like three buffs or something like that, but still she is an offensive powerhouse. She has Amplify. She is a Crimson Slayer, literally bro. Like an Amplify card and she's out of there like, I mean, I think Derry honestly is the best option, but she, she non super awakened <laughs> rim is like she can wreck stuff, bro. Easy, easy, peasy. Also, she heals on her passive too when she gets max max old gauge. That's that's pretty nice as well. Her second card and uh, boisterous dance of Oni inflict damage equal to three hundred twenty five percent of attack on all enemies. Decrease ultimate move gauge. No, increase, no, decrease ultimate move damage by 50% and restrict ultimate move effects for two days. That's like honestly both busted at level three. Her ultimate, uh, shatter, shatter damage. Y'all, you know, shatter is that's ignores res, 
resistance yes let's ignore resistance so that with these buffs you can guess why she hits hard that man aoe so even at one six i think still would do some devastating damage moving on to my favorite sister uh ram unknown race um basic stats increased by 20 percent. she's absolutely fantastic stunts i did a showcase of her i think yesterday by the time i was recording this she goes dummy the rupture aoe also is great i like how she had <laughs> you should eat it bro. <laughs> okay uh cancel stances on one enemy and inflicts damage you get 250 percent of attack then stuns for two turns and then she has a rupture aoe that is nice because if you go against like either am or a goddess Sally, she has a shield so this can break through that uh i think a level one can uh, definitely a level two can break the shield but i'm not so sure about level one depends on how well invested she is for you but either way good utility she's free so if you don't pull her bro don't worry about it you'll get her like i think the third the third day in of the re-zero collab or something like that move her ultimate uh basically death pierce uh 300 of attack on all enemies decrease attack related stats by 30 percent for three turns that's nice so uh if you want to chase that that's honestly cool it doesn't do the most damage but it has some utility by lowering attack related stats moving on to the the worst <laughs> the worst of the bunch uh beatrice uh increase the hero's hp related stats by five percent for each unknown ally in battle in battle on the field so if it's three on the field i'm guessing she gets 15 percent hp hp related stats recovers hp of unknown allies by 60 percent of the amount of the hero recovers when using a skill uh that uh filters through her like cards because she has life steal and then she has despair so if she does these are like healing cards for herself so however much she heals 60 percent of that goes to the unknown allies on the team so it sounds good in theory uh i i did i did notice i think with this re-zero like collab i think yeah we'll be getting like the new guild boss with the swords and the unknown team actually is a solid candidate to get like decent points i think i got like 6k or 7k with the with this whole unknown team using all of them uh no not all of them not ram i was using festival merlin as well with ram amelia and uh beatrice here because beatrice can keep some people alive in pve i feel like beatrice has a place but since merlin is relatively new on global i wouldn't really recommend using beatrice in pvp just because that infect cucks her completely <laughs> and then you gotta think about it as well uh merlin is a threat right in fact completely stops beatrice from healing and keeping your team alive and then go think come on phil red go through gets revamped with this um update as well so he can just call the door to you, seal you, and then you're practically useless because she has double attack hard. So that was my biggest quarrel with Beatrice. That's the only reason I don't like her, just because Infect and Seal are the two major counters to her. That's the only thing, bro. That's my own. Yeah, maybe if it was something else. Maybe if she like, maybe if she had a cleanse. I don't know. Maybe if she had a heal card instead. I feel like that would be better. Instead of take off like life still either card either or probably this one, the despair one. This AoE it doesn't do that much damage anyway. Give her like a a blue king cleanse card. I think that'll be perfect. Honestly, it's perfect. It'll be perfect. Expert of Yin Magic, her ultimate inflicts damage equal to three hundred fifty percent of attack on all enemies, and life still is thirty percent. So basically, heal, heal, heal. But if it's an infect on her. Does it mean, does it even matter? And I'm telling you, bro, dude, you need to take one of these off and get, they should have just gave her a cleanse card, bro. Then it should be perfect, man. I don't know why they, why did they do that? Why did they cuck her knowing Merlin is a thing? I just don't get it. And then, obviously, we can go over the banner. We already know. We can take a look at the feature pool. That's 600. You can choose one. Uh, GSSR 300. We know. We know. We know. We know. This banner is not the best. It has Escanora, Hauser, Jericho. I mean, shout out to Derby. That's that's his girl. Merlin, Gother, Old Four King. I think this is uh this is Green King, correct? Brawler Pine, uh Green Was that Green Elizabeth? Yeah, I think it's Green Elizabeth. And then Counter Melly. Counter Melly, Hauser. And I think that was was this Blue Merlin? I forgot. Infinity. Yeah, I think that was Blue Merlin. Yeah, and this is Green Escanor. I mean, I know Green Escanor was free. We got him with the one um, Escanor celebration. 
I don't know, Old Farkeen, bro, Counter Melly, Howser, bro, this this banner is atrocious, but if I do recommend summoning, should you summon, I know it's like a couple minutes in, it's like 10 minutes, ultimately, if you made it to the end of the video, you hear me saying now, should you summon for ReZero, I would say yes, just try to get a copy of each, not even of each, bro, just try to get a copy of Amelia, Rem, and Beatrice, because Rem is free, so if you can do a couple of multis and get three of them, and get the free one you're set you know i don't think you need to go super mega deep bro just try pray you get lucky and you'll be good uh ultimately that is it the costumes here they look clean but i don't i don't even know if people will probably pick them up if they'll probably just like get them and then just like have them as trophies but the costumes are cool i think they're fantastic other than beatrice uh rim is good ram is fantastic amelia is just stupid level s here uh, but yeah, that's gonna do it. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you drop a like and I will catch you guys in the next one. And let me know if you will be summoning on the ReZero banner. And yeah, that's gonna do it. I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.